Good morning. Okay, yesterday I posted my video and called it uh, Morning Routines, and today I'm going to call this one My Morning Routines. And first of all, I was just blown away by yesterday. Uh, when I first time I opened up the computer finally I, I thought I had two new subscribers and I said honey I've got two new subscribers a and when I got on uh, I'm over 200 oh thank you <laughs> that is very sweet of you but the first time I turned it on also I saw Rinda's comment about being, if she could, she, she wished she could be my own health care nurse. And, and that just brought tears to my eyes. In fact, it was so overwhelming all day long when I thought of it. It just... It, and I know if she were my nurse, I think I would and go to sleep talking <laughs> and visiting her. <laughs> It'd be nice to have her for a nurse, wouldn't it? A and then the other thing I want to say, because it's hard for me to write now, is that in Rinda's and Jim's newsletter, she talks about the gift of the old co cookbook and that if you would order one, it would help them, and and that was, I, I hope you do, because that is like a perpetual gift, and I thought that was so sweet. So I want to say those two things, really thank you. For some reason, I think there's a bond between Rinda and us and me. Okay, now, yesterday I talked a little bit about when you go into mourning, there's these steps, you know, denial, anger, um, depression, whatever. Well, it's not a normal checklist, like, okay, denial, I can check that off. You go back and forth, back and forth, and it takes who knows how long. And, but we all go through that. And I suppose I hear myself in denial at times. And uh, do, do I have peace 100% of the time? Or does my peace fall into pieces? And so, yes. Sometimes it does. And, but with all your prayer support, where could I be but to have mainly peace. So thank you for that. I really appreciate your prayers, your thoughts, your comments. So that's been an encouragement. Okay, mornings, real morning, like morning, evening, are really difficult. They're hard because I wake up, I'm cold, I'm in this bed of just wetness. My hair is just ringing. My night clothes are just so, soak. You could wring water out of them. I have to get into the shower. I have to get my bed remade. I have to get warm again. And that takes time. And then and there's things like that. And uh, just getting meals. It takes quite a bit of thought and energy. Okay. Uh, but it, it's things that need to be done and they're good. It's good to have things to do. But on my journey here, what I find it's really difficult and I, I 
maybe I'll find out that this is something that I'll feel better in a and things will get return will regenerate so I don't know on that that's all you know I don't know I can't even go there in my thoughts all I know is what's happening right now and it's the things that I've really had difficulty with is letting go and that's not easy to do. And there's the chickens. There's the garden. There's even my kitchen. And so I struggle with those things. I do. Because they're not easy. It's like prying your hands loose. And uh, when I first came home from the ER and I wanted things to go as normal. I would get up, let my chickens out like I always did. But then I found out I just didn't have the energy to go out during the day like I did. But I could be there to put them to bed. And, and then that changed. But I still say, hey Tom, it's time to top off the chickens. It's time to let them in the clover. It's time to put them to bed. But <laughs> this morning, as I was trying to get my breakfast, came Tom came in to say the chickens were out. So I, I know he struggles with that. So I went out to help him. Craig came, neighbor's son came. And the three of us got the chickens in. It was probably good for me to be out. And I saw my garden. I know I have beans coming on. It's the best bean crop I think I'll ever have in my garden. They were planted all in fresh compost. Or, yeah, new compost. And, and a tomato came up with them from the compost. And... Uh, Oh, and my okra is doing well. I haven't seen it blossom yet. But I'm rambling. I know I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be this a rambling one. But on my morning experience, it's tr giving up some of these things, letting loose, and still having peace and joy. And still loving life. So that's where I'm at. God is good. He's faithful. And I'm in good hands. And I want, again, thank you. I'm sorry. I apologize for rambling. <laughs>